The ventilator cannot think for itself, it needs our guidance. For the ventilator to function properly, we have to give it five instructions. The first one, when to start the breath, then how to deliver the breath, when to terminate the breath, how much oxygen to give, and how much PEEP to give. Let's start with the first point, when to start the breath or inspiration. The ventilator will listen to the patients to detect the patients any inspiratory effort. It will pick up any effort as a sign that the patient is trying to breathe and it will go ahead and assist the patient with that breath. This is known as patient's triggered breath or as we call it in mechanical ventilation an assist breath or a breath. But what happens if the ventilator does not detect any patient's trigger? Let's say the patient is paralyzed or brain dead. In this case, the ventilator has a built-in safety mechanism. It will deliver a breath if no patient's trigger is detected for a specific period of time. This is called a backup, or as we call it in mechanical ventilation, a control breath or C breath. Take a look at these two ventilator screens. The breath on picture A is con a control breath or backup breath labeled as C breath. And the breath on, the, on picture B is an assist breath that was triggered by the patient and assisted by the ventilator. You see the A letter. 